Hey everyone, I'm Foss Harris. Today we're going to create a new class for Torchlight 2. Mainly going to focus on getting the class implemented into the game. We're not going to focus on creating skills or anything like that. So, let's get started by creating a new mod. Okay. I'm going to call this one Custom Class 2 because I have another one that's labeled that. So, okay. Now I just got to wait for it to start up. Should be fairly quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <whistles> Thinking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, all right, I'll just take advantage of this time. So we're going to need three things, man. We're going to need the unit types, some units, and then just put a few skills into those units. And then we're going to just do a quick edit on one of the skill trees and put the new skill into the skill tree. Hate when that happens. It seems to always happen when I want to record something. I start getting hot mucus. <laughs> I have to cough a lot. All right, let's go. And so we're just gonna start with creating the unit types. So what we need are three unit types: one for the base, which is just the like this one right here, and then one for, two for the genders, one for female, one for male. So let's start. Let's call this fighter. Let's call this class the fighter class. Okay, I want to just give me the cap anyway. Fighter. Okay. Let's just create them all first. Uh, fighter. Female. Okay. Fighter. Male. Okay. Now we're going to tweak the inheritance. So this is going to be the inherit player. This, then these are going to inherit the fighter. And player of the selected gender. Okay. And then same thing here. Play here with the selected gender. Oops. And fighter. Add. Just double check. Okay. Now save. Close. Go to data editors, units, players, to bring up the player editor. <coughs> okay. So in here, what we're going to do is, the quickest way is just to clone a vanilla class and work from there. So we're going to clone the berserker. It's the closest thing to a fighter. So we can clone that. And then we're going to change the folder to uh, fighter. Okay, left the caps lock on. So I'm just going to delete berserker and type fighter in. Okay. So here I'm going to change the name fighter. Um, type in um, the fighter class. Specializes in using their fists. Okay, there you go. Now we're just gonna go on to the skills and we're gonna delete every single skill. I'm just clicking repeatedly and holding the delete button. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to save, and then we are going to 
copy the f female one right here, the Berserker female, we're going to clone it, and change the name here, just faster this way, Let's change the name here as well, fighter, okay, and change the base file to, this is not the one, this is another one. This is the one, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Open. Okay, everything here is done. It's going to inherit from the base one. Save. And now copy the mail. And change the name. <coughs> to fighter and here save yeah it's a long process but just a tedious process not long it's just tedious and then save so now I gotta change some inheritance I mean some unit types I forgot to change it here so to our newly created fighter female, save, and our newly created fighter male, and save. Okay. See, this is what I find kind of odd. I so I forgot to change this. There you go. Save and everything should inherit once I do a change to it. So now we have the class. So let's see if it will work. So we're gonna close this for now and set the class here to fighter of any gender. And then start. If it starts and it looks like a destroyer, I mean, if it looks like the Berserker, then it works. There you go. We have the Berserker model without any skill. Okay. So now we're gonna get it. We're gonna create a UI. So since it's using the Berserker, I might as well just use the Berserker UI. So. Switch to the UI scene right here. Oh, crap, I closed it. Uh, there it is. <laughs> so switch to the UI scene right here, down here. So then open from the main Torchlight 2 media folder right here. Go down to the UI menus. Let's go to overrides. Just choose the Berserker. So right now, I'm just gonna go back to unit editor really quickly. Just choose a skill and add to it. So here, I'm gonna create a new skill and I'm gonna pick one. Let's go with uh, something not from the Berserker. So let's go with Flame Hammer. Oh, flame hammer. <coughs> let's change the excuse me. Let's change the level requirement. Let's make it one level requirement one. And then we're just gonna quickly save for now. So now let's switch back to here. And then we are going to expand this, 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 and this. <laughs> expand it all the way until we see the scope group panels right here. So we can change the first one right here. Just let's see, uh, eviscerate is the one we got. Yes. So go to properties right here. Change this to flame hammer. Well, there's a space, right? There's a space. Yes, there's a space. And it's good. No, just. Cosmetic is rare. 
Change this to flame hammer as well. Just you know, I changed it to this. So now, inside these new tree is gonna be a flame hammer. So save as. We're gonna go back to our mod folder. So we're gonna create a new unit. I mean, new folder. Uh, UI. And then menus. Another new folder. Skill. Tree. Override. Okay. And then we're gonna save in here. I am gonna follow Runix naming to the letter. Skill. Tree. And then change the last bit to fighter and save. Okay, now we have the file. And then we just switch back to our player editor. And here, change this right here to, or you do it quickly right here, just go to it. And there you go. You have your class, save it. And then these should inherit which they are not so might as well do the same so fighter fighter save and there you go now let's test it in the editor And there you go, we have flame hammer. And then in here, flame hammer. Everything's set, you don't need to worry about the plus signs or any of that, so you're okay. So I go back to editor mode. And you are done with the mod. And now you will go here. Go here, package and publish, turn off the Steam stuff if you don't want to publish it yet, and then build it. Alright. Alright, let's load it in game. So we're gonna go here, now select the class, in case it's not checked, check it. It'll be over here, and start. So, new game, and there it is, the fighter. So, and also you change the gender, and it'll work fine. Here's all the features of the Berserker. And then, name, whatever it was named. And go, badger, normal, and single player. And there you go. We put a skill that he can't use, so okay. Unfortunately, I don't have an insert button on this keyboard, so I cannot access the console and spawning weapon. So <laughs> too bad. <laughs> but it should work. It will work. Okay, so that's it. And. Uh, Oh yeah, I changed it to this button right here. <laughs> so there you go, the class inside the game. Very simple steps. So have a nice day and enjoy using guts.